Hi, hello, wanna come and welcome back to at another episode on your favorite Little Sla YouTube channel. So today in this video, we're going to answer one of the questions from our subscriber. So he has asked a question today morning that why we can't run proxy server in Edge and Chrome browser. And he also mentioned that in my videos, I have showed the recording only using Firefox browser. So today we're going to see how to record an application using Chrome. And uh, I'll show you how to uh, manage or how to fix the proxy server thing. It's not a big deal. It's, it's very simple. If you are a little slow subscriber, yes, it's very easy for you as well. And uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, and please do watch the entire video. And there are like lots of uh, key things which are in, in the video. And I believe you uh, will subscribe this video and uh, subscribe to our channel. And uh, give a thumbs up if you like this video. And share the video with your friends. And comment if you have any questions or feedbacks in the comment section. And very soon, uh, yes, we are going to resume uh, the trainings. But uh, I'll take, uh, there are like lots of feedbacks from our subscribers. So based on the feedback, um, I will make all the changes and uh, we'll come up with the new set of trainings from February. And there will be a, a public announcement very soon. I will uh, inform you all. And coming back to this video. So this here we have, I have Jmeter. And let me first create a plan. Let me first create a test plan. And I'm going to create a recording test plan for recording the script. Click on create. So this will actually create the uh, test plan. And I have my HTTPS test script recorder. And in here, uh, so next thing is I have to set up the port. So usually, uh, okay, let me open the Chrome browser. So usually in the Chrome browser, uh, what happens is if I try to uh, make changes in my proxy, I'm just clicking on this proxy and continue running. Okay, so continuous Chrome is using uh, proxy settings from an extension proxy switcher. So for now, yep, I'm using a proxy switcher because initially I'm using an extension. So I'll, I'll take you through that part. So usually if you have no extension like this, what happens is you'll be taken to the systems proxy. And even if you make changes there, it won't really work here. So what I did is, let me show you what it did. So first thing is I have downloaded a, an extension. So this is called as proxy switcher. And in here I have like several uh, proxy uh, types we can switch into different proxies. like I have a direct proxy I have auto detect I have system proxy and I have a manual proxy so in here I will use the jmeter proxy and for this jmeter proxy I'm going to use the HTTP proxy as localhost the port number is double eight double eight which is the same port I'm going to I'm using in my jmeter recording and I'm using uh, SSL proxy, uh, SSL proxy and the FTP proxy. Everything is, it sits on the same double eight double eight. And I have, I have set it up, I set up this one. Now, if I click on Google, it won't work because now it is working on the double eight double eight proxy. So the next part is always make sure you are installing your certificate. So make sure that you're installing your Apache jmeter root certificate in all these settings so that's very important so you all know how to do that go to install certificate local machine next s and then place all the certificates and choose from right from personal to untrusted like choose all these folders one by one and then install the certificate so since i have did this already i'm not going to make it again and the next step is let's go back to the uh jmeter and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on the start button click OK I have got the transaction name 01 go to the browser yes it's our usual pet store it can be any application you want and 02 click enter the store clicking on it yep the application is loaded and now click sign in clicking on sign in zero four login 
let me enter the credentials okay it has been removed but that's fine all we want is try to record so closing it coming back to the recording controller yes it worked right so i can see the clicking and and clicking into the store url and uh, the next one is clicking on sign in button the third one is enter the credentials so that is what so yeah you can use chrome for recording as well so now 